ever smile on since I can't remember when. Well, you can tell from the temperature uh, it's time to take these storm windows off the bus. These things are great in the winter time. Uh, they really do a lot and I will put a link to the video where I showed how to make these and that video has a link to the original source uh, which is a church back east somewhere I don't remember exactly which state but they make storm windows for their parishioners which is kinda cool and they have a I don't know it's like a six part series showing in detail how to make these uh, so any, anyway I'll post the link to my video and then my video the, my other video has a link to their video um, but in far as in the bus goes um, these are just the regular windows that came with the bus are these uh, the fasteners here um, well let me uh, just show you we can look here in the bathroom uh, this is just the original window the way it was and it's got these uh, screws these are like number 12 I think screws and these uh, special washers here and then they hold the window frame in place now what I did in, in most of the buses I took a, uh, a piece of wood and framed around there and then I got longer uh, screws again I think they're number 12s longer screws and use the same washer and then for the storm windows here I've got an even longer screw and using the same washer to hold these in place so these just unscrew very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's what these look like. These are these, uh, there's two layers of this stuff. This is that shrink wrap plastic you can get for making weatherizing your windows. And uh, again, I'm going to put a post a link to this, but you just make these frames and uh, Put the shrink wrap around that's uh, taped on with packing clear uh, packing tape, which is very strong stuff. And then you take a hair dryer and it shrinks and tightens up. And there's one on each side, so you do the first one and then you wrap the other one. Put more packing tape all the way around it. Then do it again and then put these weather strips. Um, so it's time to take these out. Just it just turned hot here last week, so it's time to take these out, and I'll show you what goes in instead. So for summertime, what I do with the windows is uh, I made these screens, and they they attach with uh, Velcro, and you can go to any hardware store and get this material. These come in long. Um, strips you have to cut them and they're it's easy to cut just use a hacksaw or something and they these plastic corners and I like to use the nylon screen but the the aluminum is probably better probably lasts longer but I haven't had any trouble with these breaking yet there's like a little groove on here you put them in the groove there's a tool um, kind of a roller thing that you put this plastic this uh, rubber stuff in and um, they go up like something like that. You only need to do it on the top window because the top part comes down. But this really uh, helps a lot to keep the insects out of your bus when you roll the windows down. So look what I found on uh, Craigslist. This is a swamp cooler. If you uh, are old school like me, you probably know what one of these is. They're kind of uh, the version of the air conditioner that existed before air conditioners did. Uh, there's a water reservoir down at the bottom there. And when you turn it on, uh, water is pumped and goes through kind of a sponge-like uh, uh, substance. And then there's a fan that blows air across that. And so it's evaporatively cooled. Uh, these work uh, fairly well in a dry climate. They will not work um, in a humid climate. But I'm in southern Oregon and it's quite dry around here, uh, at least this time of year. So um, I just got this and I haven't really had a chance to check it out much. I did run it last night. Uh, people complain that these will not really cool a room down, uh, whether that's true or not. 
I have yet to see it. It's certainly not miraculous as far as actually lowering the overall temperature of the room. But if you're sitting such that the uh, cool, cool air is blowing on you, it makes quite a difference. Um, anyway, so I thought I would uh, show you right now how much power it uses. Let's see my my ammeter is at negative three, so that's a phantom load. Um, that's that's a bit of a phantom load. I think it's uh, basically my propane detector. I think this is the only thing that's running. And I have noticed this thing does use quite a bit more than I would have expected. Um, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the inverter on. I can probably, I have a smaller inverter that uses less power. Um, so I'm going to experiment around with that one. But this is a 2000 watt Samlix. And when I turn that on, you can see I'm drawing, um, you know, about an amp and a half, a little less than an amp and a half if you figure my existing phantom load. Uh, so we're starting off at 1.6 and let's see how much this guy does. Adds to it. And I'm not sure what this thing does. Cool swing, alright. I'm all for that. Let's turn that on too. So you can see it's using around, what, about 7.5 amps which is a bit of a load but uh, an air conditioner uh, would probably be using quite a bit more than that and, and I will find out soon enough uh, but this is what I have and this is what it's doing um, now if you stand right here the air that's coming out of here is definitely cooler than room temperature and if last night uh, the room temperature in here was close to 80 degrees, but if I position this such that it's blowing on me, I actually felt quite comfortable. But I'll show you the deal with trying to run an air conditioner. Um, I borrowed this uh, from Destiny. She's trying to sell this window unit, and I just kind of put it on my window here. I would have had to make something to make it fit. But anyway, I'll show you the problem with it. Go ahead and fire that guy up. I'll show you what happens when I try to run this. See? It's just not quite enough. When it powers up, the Samlix cuts off, shuts it off, and just cycles between on and off. So, it's not going to work. Um, I wouldn't have been able to run this off the battery for very long, I know that. But I was hoping to be able to run it while the engine was running, uh, while I was driving at least, and then when I was um, on shore power. So it's not going to work for me. But the swamp cooler will. Well, what they say is, if you don't like the weather in Oregon, wait a minute. <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, hot, it was like 100 degrees last week and now it's dark rainy and cold so uh, I guess that wraps up our uh, little discussion of getting ready for summer summer's on the way and now I'm ready for it so anyway I guess that's it for this time um, thanks for watching have a good one we'll catch you next time later